Then, first start off by saying congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Joey Gerties. Um, now one last time for all those people in the back. It was Gerties. Uh, Maddie, I hope you're ready for a life of correcting the Gers, Gerdeses, and the Gers. Yeah. Um, so, I first met the groom here uh, on October 20, uh, 21 years ago. Um, a day that would change the course of history, but certainly be a blessing to his life, to say the least. Um, really, I don't remember much from that day. Uh, I'm sure there was a lot of crying from both him and I both. Uh, um, now, Joey and I were always very close growing up. Uh, maybe it's because we were brothers who shared a room, so we were really forced to get along for our own well-being. Uh, it was, wasn't always easy. I know he hated my Legos all over the floor, and I never thought I would have heard the solo to Sweet Child of Mine more in my life. Um, of course, as brothers, both competitive and close in age, we didn't always get along. Um, if you know Joey, you know why. Uh, I, have, I have plenty of stories about our fights as kids, but I think the one we remember the most is when we got thrown out of the house that one night. Now you remember that, Dad. You're the one who locked us out of that house. Uh, Joey, I'm gonna admit it in front of everybody. You won that fight. Thank you. There, I said it. Really? Because if I said otherwise, I don't want a round two go, going up against you on that boulder shoulders, man. Come on now. In that, in that, in that uh, shirt, they look like a couple of bowling balls, all right? Oh. Uh, let me find out where I'm at. I mean, <laughs> it's all right, though, because I'll just push a couple extra reps and you in the squat rack. Um, either way, the fights that we had growing up weren't always that bad, and we always made up like 10 minutes later like nothing ever happened. That's just the relationship that we have. Um, up until this point, although you guys probably all think that Joey and I just fought growing up, and I know my parents over there like nodding their heads, like, that's pretty much all you did. Um, but we did everything together, from going outside in the snow, pretending like we're in Hoth from Star Wars, um, running around the yard, knocking down bamboo, living lightsabers, reading yeah. scenes from Star Wars, uh, building a tree house with our siblings uh, that actually made somebody ask us if a tornado went through our yard. <laughs> um, um, roughhousing with Jordan and Jacob after bedtime, acting like uh, falling asleep, acting like we're asleep when looking like toys from Toy Story. Whenever her dad would come downstairs to check on us. <laughs> Uh, playing oh, yeah. basketball on the same team, and we still hear Coach Daryl's voice yelling at us. <laughs> Big the layups, that's right. Um, and, or when you really steal my answers during school. Um, yes, um, he did that. There was no way he was going to get through biology without me, okay? Let's be real. Oh, man. But now as we grow older and go our own ways and achieve our own goals in life, uh, one thing remains is that we always have each other's backs. I mean, we do live two minutes away from each other after all, so. Uh, but I want to say I'm proud of you. Um, keep working hard and continue to be yourself, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you both. Um, that's much, enough emotional stuff. Uh, now about how I met Maddie. Um, Maddie, I first met you in ShopRite, and we worked one shift together, one, before you left. Like, what's up with that? Come on. Uh, but because of that, I didn't really know you too well, but I know that you and Joey um, became very close. Um, and because of that, you became like a sister to me. And today, you're actually my sister. Aww. Welcome to the family. Um, I'm going to skip ahead to when Joey was living in Tennessee, and you arranged a visit to go visit him. I, I wasn't going to question it, okay? I wasn't going to question it because I got a chance to see him and Timmy um, but we both know, like we all knew, there was a deeper meaning behind it besides just going to go. Um, not too long after that trip, Joey came back um, and you two were off. You got your condo in Bel Air and immediately had to take me in for a couple of weeks while I finished out my semester. So I appreciate that. Uh, there were plenty of great moments we had uh, in that short time that I was there. Uh, like when you decorated the house for Joey's birthday and I left note cards all over the corner of the house. Um, or that time, that, that morning, when you were making pancakes, and I walked in, and they looked like scrambled eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I still have... They were keto pancakes! <laughs> they were an attempted keto pancake. I still have the video. I think it's okay. Of that. <laughs> Did they at least taste good? Shut up. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Um, all in all, it was a really good time. Uh, and without you guys moving to Bel Air, I don't get to perform the second half of my speech. Now this is a story all about how his life got flipped like his first car. So I'd like to say you to sit right there. So I Joe became the prince of a town called Bel Air. He really did flip his first car. You remember Dora? You guys really weren't expecting this. Delta, Pennsylvania, where we were raised, riding dirt bikes is where he spends most of his days, hanging with Timmy and relaxing all cool while shooting some airsoft outside of the woods with a couple of guys named Bonnie and Zach, started walking over just to join them. We had a hell of a time, but then we got bored, so we hopped in the Jeep and took a trip to Bel Air. We laughed and joked together day after day and even had some fun playing football in the rain. At times we got pissed and at times we got ticked, but at the end of the day, man, we would all kick it. First job, man, this is bad. Collecting topic cars off for this first paycheck. Is this what the people of Delta are living like? Hmm, this can't be alright. Who wait this war? How we get here, you might ask. What the job you met, Maddie? Went, Who's this cool cat? I don't know, but little did he know he may have just met his princess of Bel Air. <laughs> Alright, let's hear it for Jonathan. 